My service started about four years ago in, um, it would have been November 27th of 2013. I served, I joined, enlisted in 1974 and we got out in 1977, January 77. Uh, I joined in 2011 and I'm currently still in it. I served in the uh, active military for about six months and then I transferred to the Indiana Guard um, for the remainder of my term. I was stationed 8th and I Barracks, Washington DC. It's downtown Washington DC. It's a pretty good, great location. Uh, I serve in the Martinsville Armory. It's about 45 minutes north of here. So I'm in the Army National Guard and we do a lot of our training at Camp Atterbury. I was an 88 Mike, which is a truck driver. Um, I was an infantryman. So 0311, it's an infantry. They call them grunts in the Marines. Uh, my job is 11 Charlie, which is mortars, and I'm the gunner there, so I have my own gun crew, and we shoot um, explosives. I began teaching at North last year. It was my first year as a teacher. Uh, last year, 2016-2017 school year, I took over for Coach Hudson, who became the athletic director and took over his classes. Uh, I just started this year. I currently teach fax classes, um, interior design, fa um, fashion, child development, interpersonal, adult roles, and college and careers. I teach uh, Introduction to Engineering Design. It's a Project Lead Away dual credit course that works with 3D modeling and trying to interest students in becoming engineers. And I also teach Introduction to Construction. And just it's uh, teaching a lot of different hand tools and how to build things. Uh, I teach in the Special Ed program, Bridges. really like cooking. Um, that's my big push. I went to culinary school, so um, I really like cooking outside of school. I'm a runner, and I kind of ran my way through college from GI Bill and running. I got through college with no debt, and um, that's when I like running trails in the woods and we're surrounded by them. We've got a great run. Uh, I like to go mountain biking on the weekends. I am currently writing a cookbook. What's it called? I don't have time for it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the fact my father was in the Marines and five of his brothers were in World War II also. And my son's a Green Beret in Fort Collins, Colorado. So I've got a kind of a military family and I think um, it still pays off. The two years I spent in the service, I, it still pays off with friends I have and connections and also the VA is very good in the Legion. They all help people. Uh, I like to draw on my free time whenever I get a chance. What kind of things do you like to draw? Uh, a lot of it is like old school tattoo base, uh, some Japanese art too, so yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. My dad was a veteran and it was very important to him and it was very important for us. Thank you for what you've done. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. I would like to give a personal thanks to Ms. Farmer and everyone who has served in the military. You guys have done so much for our country, and I salute you. Thank you for all your service. Thank you, veterans. Thank you for your service. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, Mr. Bulmer. Thank you, Mrs. Farmer. Thank you, Mr. Hudson. Thank you, Mr. Quigley. Thank you to all of the veterans who have served our country over the years. We greatly appreciate it. And um, I'd like to uh, say Happy Veteran Day uh, to my son, Lieutenant Brandon Jordan, who's uh, stationed currently over in Germany, but um, they're over in Poland for six months doing training. Uh, very proud of him. Also, I'd like to say Happy Veteran Day to my father, who served over 20 years and uh, spent two tours in Vietnam, and uh, served at a time when uh, the country didn't even recognize his rights fully, but he gave everything he had uh, just to be considered an American citizen and treated with rights uh, due to everybody afforded in the country. Thank you. Thank you veterans for all your service over the years and making our country a safe place to be. Thank you veterans. We appreciate your service. It's an honor to call you colleagues. 
Hey, to all our veterans out there, thank you so much for everything that you've done. I appreciate what you do. It's not something most of us would do. Keep yourself safe, healthy. Have a great holiday.